Now, I will be presenting the New World Order, the scum. State of mind versus mental disorder. The state of mind starts with the stage of mind, moves on to the environment, and the result is your state of mind. And the behavior that they misinterpret, that they perceive incorrectly as a mental disorder. I will use the New World Order's behavior and the people who suffer as a result as an example. We start off with the stage of mind. Evil has been around a long time. The environment is the earth and it's ripe for destruction and set and the European cults that followed him, and the Indo-European as well, and Aryan, Indo-Aryan, you, if you will, love destruction as well. As you can see, Egypt, the Red Sea on one side, the Mediterranean above, and the Libyan desert on the left pirates all through the Mediterranean they're picking their sacred fruit in the garden everything is just fine it's important to note that the Egyptians portrayed the men with that reddish hue because it was part of their religion just like Osiris is portrayed as green symbolizing divinity you see the female goddess is portrayed as light skinned which is the popular portrayal in the art of the time period this is prehistoric cave painting from the people and area that we are talking about in, in this video. As you can see, there are dinosaurs portrayed as well as Africans. And then there is some kind of giant. Menzies, the first king of Egypt, although it is disputed whether or not this is his actual bust or not, that this is his actual statue. We go on. To Mentuhotep. One of many. The second. And on to King Tut, King Tutankhamun. I like to call him too common. <laughs> to keep it simple, but that's not really how you say it. Now, you go on. What is Ramses doing? And why is the male portrayed with light skinned and not the female? Besides the fact there's no female in this picture. Because his skin is not as dark. And notice he's one of the enemies of Egypt. Central to their religion is the Nile and the animals that are around. Anointed by God with thought and Horus, 
history, wisdom, knowledge, and divine goodness. We move on. This is not disputed. This is Menzies. And to unite the two lands, he had to deal with those who were in his way, creating chaos. It is symbolic of Osiris rising above Set and of Horus slaying Set. Now, if you would notice, his features do not put him in any other category but the middle bottom. If you would notice that he is not only wearing the attire of Egypt, as well as the Pharaoh's crown, which is later on two crowns combined to show that he controls Upper and Lower Egypt. But hanging on the left side of the drawing of Menzies, you have And we move on. It's important to note what is hanging and the and the dress. This man was a Nubian. Look at the comparison. These are the Europeans on the left and on in the center. Notice the hair. It is short. Yet these this is their perception of civilization. A man with short hair, clean cut. But the Egyptians do not see it that way. Yet, they hold just a, as high of a standard of civility. It is quite clear that the left and center on the top row match the far left on the bottom, and the second from the left on the bottom matches the far right on the top. 